If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, send them to goaskmickey at gmail.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 45 for the week of April 23rd. 2018, and in this week's episode, we have a part two of the Muppets Presents Great Moments in History, the show that goes on in Animal King, I mean, <laughs> Magic Kingdom, and it goes on daily throughout the day, and they do two different shows. This is part two, the second show. If you get a chance to check those out um, while you're there, those are great. They're very entertaining. The Muppets are, you can't go wrong with the Muppets, right? Hey, if you can remember to check out our Facebook page, give us a like over there. Check us out on Twitter at GoSMickey1. And if you could, a rating and review over on iTunes. And this week, as far as news, there's, there's not much. There's a Animal Kingdom's anniversary, and there's free dining. Free dining was supposed to drop today. Now, today is April 23rd. Um, so... Either today, tomorrow, someday this week, it's going to drop. So if you're a free dining advocate and you are all about the free dining discount that they offer, you're you're paying attention. You want to make sure you're doing the math. That's what I want to talk to you about. We're going to talk about the free dining math for this week's episode because I listen to so many podcasts. Like I always review every year around this time. There's a free dining and I listen to all these other podcasts talking about free dining and for some reason, I don't know why, but for, I'm not going to say who, what podcasts they are, but for some reason, a lot of these podcasters say, okay, well, free dining, if you punch in the numbers, there are three people, and I'm staying at this resort, and this is, you know, $4,000 is the price. Well, if I did three people staying at the same resort with the room only, it's, you know, uh, 3200 So this is a better deal than that. Yes, but you're forgetting to add the food in on the other side. So, (laughs) of course, it's going to be cheaper. You have no food. There's no food. There's food in the free dining offer, but there's no food that you're doing in the room only offer. So that's going to increase the price. So I'm putting in a link for a calculator that you can use that will show you exactly what you're going to use as far as spending money or food money for the week, however long, you know, how many days you're going, you type in how many days, how many people, what are their ages, where do you like to eat, all that stuff, and you gotta, it gives you the price, you know, say 800 bucks for a week uh, for four people. So you, you have to take that 800 bucks and you have to plug it into the room only discount. Now that room only discount with the 800 bucks just added is not cheaper than the free dining. You gotta balance that, you know, balancing the budget basically, and Whichever one works out is the winner. That's in my eyes. If the free dining is cheaper, then do the free dining. If the room only is cheaper with the food included, paying out of pocket, then do that. But do the math. A lot of these people, and for some reason, they're travel agents too. And then they're going, well, this is cheaper. The room only is always cheaper. Yeah, it's because the food's not included. So make sure you include the food just like... If you're going on vacation, you want to rent a car, make sure you add a car rental fee. Whatever you're going to pay out of pocket to pay for a car rental. That's part of a vacation. Tickets are part of a vacation. Your your hotel stay is part of a vacation. Um, you know, travel, the, the plane or car or whatever, however you're going to get there, that's a fee that has to be added into the package of a full vacation. I don't know why a lot of people go, well, you know, it, hotel and tickets and that's your vacation. No, that's not the whole vacation. You got to eat. You got to drive around or you got to get there somehow. So all these are a part of a package. So make sure you do the math. It's really that simple. Plug it in and you're going to get your answer. Whichever is cheaper is a winner. <laughs> simple, right? You think? So um, keep an eye on that. It should be dropping any day now. Uh, if you're a fan of the free dining, you know a lot about it. Free dining is basically, for those of the, you know, who don't know anything about the free dining offer that they offer, it's once a year. They usually offer it in the fall, but now it's very limited and it's very scarce as far as, you know, which hotels and resorts 
are included in this and they're very you know very restrictive so you have to buy like two-day park tickets with park hoppers in order to get you know the discount for the food and they limit on what kind of dining plan you're gonna get whether it's a quick you know quick service dining plan which you, you get two quick services or you get a table service those are very restrictive and they're eliminating that I don't think they're gonna ever eliminate the free dining because it's one of the biggest popular uh, discounts that Disney offers and it's you know the most anticipated with that coming out this week keep an eye on that I know a lot of people are interested in that part of a vacation the free dining is a huge discount people uh, go insane over this one so if that's what you're doing keep an eye out next couple days it'll pop up and hopefully you can grab onto some of that other than that that is this week's show we're going to leave you off with the Muppets presents great moments in history the Paul Revere show uh, it's a little short, little, you know, uh, type of a show that kind of puts you in the mood to go into Disney. Uh, you know, takes you out of the moment, puts you there for a little bit. So check this out if you could. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, send them on over to goasmickey at gmail.com. And if you could, head on over to iTunes and give us a rate and a review over there. That is it. We'll let you go. And until next time, those are the words. It's the Muppets with another great moment in American history! Thank you, sir. All ye people gather round and listen well. My friends and I have some of history's greatest tales to tell. Your hair will stand on end with all the history and such. Unless, of course, you're bald like me, in which case, not so much. Oh, hi there, Sam. It's Sam Eagle, everybody. Hey, tell us, Sam, what great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Ah, a great story indeed. The ride of Paul Revere, a fateful night that saved the day. He warned the founding fathers, but the British were up their way. In their red coats, with their muskets, they were mean and scary. But we won't speak about all that. This is wholesome, through and through. Right, let's bring out some friends to help us. Hey guys, that's your cue. Watch hiya! Great moments in history. Tra la 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 la. Great moments in history. And this one features more. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history. But only the American. Great moments in history. But just the American hearts. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow Americans and others. <laughs> As official historian of Liberty Square, I am honored to present to you a dramatic recitation of The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, with additional dialogue by Sam Eagle. Cue the patriotic music. <clears throat> Let us begin. Listen, my children, to what is going on here? You said chickens! I said children, not chickens! Oh! Shoo, shoo! We're going! Come on, girls! <clears throat> Let us begin again. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Hey, old Paul Revere here! It is love! Paul Revere! What? Oh, good heavens. Iggy, it's Paul Revere, not Paula. But it's a story no, so surely it must be meant for moi. Paul Revere was a man. Correction, he was not just a man. He was a son of liberty, along with John Adams, Sam Adams, and John Hancock. Well, then what part is written for moi? I'm sorry, Piggy, but there's no part for you. Oh, we'll see about that. Uh, sorry about that, Sam. Uh, please continue. Uh, right. Um, where was I? Ah, uh, uh, yes. He said to his friend, if the British march... Hang a lantern in the North Church arch. With a watchful eye, look out for them. To which his friend replied, no problem. I'll hang one if by land, and two if by sea. Great. And three if by monorail, Fuzzy. and four if by pogo stick, no, no, no. five if by Fuzzy. unicycle, Fuzzy. six if by registered mail. Fuzzy! Fuzzy. Oh, my God.
<laughs> Fuzzy, are you okay? Uh, yeah, the lanterns lightened my fall. Get it? Lanterns? Lightened? Ah! Just hang the lanterns from the church. <sighs> One if I land, and two if I see. That's good, because we only have two left. Ah, two lanterns. They're coming by sea. Ah, yes. Now, Paul Revere upon his horse did ride. Oh, where is the horse? Ah, ah, here you go, Kermit. Ah, Donzo, you were supposed to get a real horse, not a stick horse. The real horse got sick. Oh, is he a little horse? <laughs> Does he need some cough stirrup? <laughs> Do I know funny? Nay. Oh. <laughs> I have had enough of this kind of nonsense. What kind of nonsense would you prefer? Would you get out of here? Ah. Oh. Yes. oh, where were we? Well, I, I am on a, uh, a horse. Ah, yes, sir. <clears throat> Paul Revere upon his stick horse did ride, and by the light of the silvery moon he cried, oh, what is that music? <laughs> what? By the light. Not the dark, but the light. Oh, the silvery moon. Not the sun, but Stop. the moon. I want to be the Not the moon, but the moon. I have one business for a moment with this house singing. Gotcha. What are you doing? I made some changes in the play. Now I have a musical number. Well, you can't just write yourself into the play. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. Then let's see how this works. What? Hi! Oh. <laughs> well, I'd say that song was a hit. Good thing the lanterns lightened his fall. Ah, good one. Get out of here. I'm going, I'm going. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Sam, what's next? Uh, um, right, uh, by the light of the silvery moon, he cried. Uh, the red coats are coming! The red coats are coming! Where are the red coats? They're coming! The red coats are here! Gonzo, uh -huh. I said no chickens! Aww. But I promised they could be in the show! Maggie, oh, you are ruining this play! I am making it better! Get them out of here, Gonzo! Piggy, uh, enough already! You can't be a red coat! Fine! Then I'm the woman in the moon! Don't you dare sing! Oh, 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 Great moments in history, the ride of Paul Revere. Great moments in history, you saw it all right here. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history, great moments in history, great moments in history. <laughs> the American Great moments in history, but just the American hearts. See you again soon. Oh, and to England, no hard feelings. You're still one of our best friends. So long, everybody.